minutes ago, we learned that a man is dead after a rock fall and avalanche inside Rocky Mountain National Park. Rocky Mountains, a serrated spine of stone, carved their way across the western half of the United States, rising and falling in a rhythm as ancient as the land itself. To the north, snow gathers in crystalline drifts. To the south, red towers meet the lowering sun. Here, beneath the endless sky, generations have carved their lives, building cities along riverbanks, stringing highways across high passes, all in the shadow of mountains. There's been a deadly rock slide in Banff National Park. RCMP say multiple hikers have been caught up in the slide. Whose foundations seem unshakable. Quartz, granite, limestone, rock hardened by unimaginable time and battered by wind and water into the wild shapes of the American imagination. But in 2025, something remarkable stirs beneath these storied peaks. The air above may shimmer with the dreams of mountaineers and poets, but deep below, lines no eye has seen begin to emerge. With the precision of fiber sensors and the reach of cutting edge lasers, scientists now turn their gaze to the hidden heart of the Rockies. Once, we read mountains by the tilt of trees and the lay of fossil beds. Today, we map their unseen boundaries, faults, fractures, and the twisted scars of past upheavals by sending pulses of light racing through glass and stone. Lasers, born from human ingenuity, meet the incomprehensible narratives etched by geologic time. Yet, as the first maps of these secret underground worlds form, a new question presses in around every revelation. What lies waiting beneath the most iconic ranges in North America? Dormant, forgotten, yet written in the language of stone and shadow? Could the key to the Rockies' past and their future be hidden not in the peaks themselves, but in the invisible threads that bind them below? Frontiers of the Unseen, a revolution born of light. For centuries, even the sharpest-eyed explorers thought the mountains revealed all their mysteries on the surface. Strata folded back against the sky, twisted trees marking ancient landslides rivers bent by the hard knuckle of stone. But as our hunger for understanding grew, so too did our ambition to peer beneath, past the iron hard shell of the earth into the restless territory below. The traditional ways, seismic hammer blows, gravimetric surveys, lonely drill cores, told only fragments. The very ground resisted explanation, as if to protect the oldest secrets with silence. Now, in 2025, the tide has shifted once more. With the rise of fiber optic sensing and laser technology, researchers wield instruments drawn from the cutting edge of physics, tools whose reach and sensitivity would have seemed magical only decades before. In the foothills outside Fort Collins, Colorado, the landscape holds no hint of the transformative research happening on the Colorado State University Foothills campus. Here, a new laser research facility represents fresh resolve to probe the very fabric of matter, to forge partnerships across disciplines, and to expand what's possible underground as well as above. Physicists inside its walls tune optical systems to unprecedented precision, chasing fusion, exploring matter's properties, and joining with geoscientists seeking to shine new light into the earth. Nearby, networks of fiber optic cable snake out from quiet instrumentation huts, threaded through laboratory basements, stretching beneath mountain roads, weaving alongside riverbeds and under the shelter of forest duff. These are not ordinary internet lines. Instead, they are specialized seismic sensors, hair-fine glass threads, that convert mechanical strain into flashes of light, sending whispers of every step, wheel, or tremor back to detectors of remarkable sensitivity. Above and below ground, high-powered lasers add to the scientific endeavor. Their beams, guided through optics painstakingly crafted to tolerances smaller than a human hair, pulse into the earth. Some rebound off hidden underground layers, returning information about the density and fabric of the rock, 
Others, tuned with exquisite accuracy, monitor for the faintest movements, tracking, in real time, the silent war that moves stones deep beneath the summits. Why has this effort surged now, in the third decade of the 21st century? One answer lies in the practical demands of modern society, mapping the location of critical minerals, assessing earthquake hazard, and managing aquifers that sustain millions across the West. Curiosity also drives the mission, as does the awareness that the Rockies, old as they seem, are active, if slowly, at depth. This is a new kind of expedition, built not on fearless footfalls across snowy ridges, but on the subtle choreography of photons and electrons. Mapping now is done not with compass and field notebook, but with algorithms and spectrometers. And with every new data set, the mountains disclose not only their sculpted face, but also their inner skeleton, the ancient breaks that explain where they've been and where they might still move. How much of what we believe about the Earth's solidity is a myth, seduced by the slow cadence of geologic time. When fiber and laser meet stone, the answers are sometimes unexpected, sometimes humbling. Anatomy of the range, what faults can and cannot be seen. Scratch the ground beneath the Rockies and you expose eons, layers of silt, sand and stone laid down, tilted up and shorn by events so ancient that we struggle to name them. But the maps revealed in 2025 do more than catalog rock types or confirm ages of reefs gone silent. With fiber and laser, researchers reveal the hidden geometry of faults, those elusive planes along which the Earth has slipped, sometimes violently, sometimes with glacial patience. A fault is not a simple crack, but a record of pressure and heat, a scar where the crust has moved and perhaps healed. Beneath the Rockies, faults curve, fork, and fade, shaped by collisions, intrusions, and relentless ice and rain over millions of years. Until now, many smaller, deeper, or subtler faults eluded discovery, their traces muffled by sediments or disguised by the noise of civilization. The long wavelengths captured by laser arrays, benefiting from techniques honed for astronomical instruments engineered to within mere micrometers, allow us to see through surface clutter. As the ALMA Observatory in the Southern Hemisphere detects the faintest cosmic signals, so these terrestrial lasers and fiber arrays now record the echoes of stone pressed and torn below the surface. Seismology once yielded only broad hints, suggestions of zones, indistinct boundary, or dipping sheets far below. Today's mapping achieves greater resolution. Laser-based surveys and fiber optic arrays reveal clusters of fractures, intricate splay faults, and the faint traces of long buried rifts some formed when the rocky mountain front was being thrust skyward. High in the mountains and shadowed valleys, fiber networks pick up micro seismicity with unmatched clarity. The gentle flex of a cable, the subtle shudder of a tremor, are traced through the network, transforming mountainsides into sensitive listening posts. Data streams in, sometimes registering quakes from hundreds of miles away, sometimes bearing tales of barely perceptible shifts, a legacy of old and unsatisfied stresses. It is a fundamentally new kind of map, tracing not only continuity, but also the places where the land is interrupted. These patterns shape rivers, chart the spread of forests, and guide the flow of mineral-rich fluid. In every scan, new lines and oddities appear. Some correspond to familiar features from older maps. Others are surprising, subtle bends, enigmatic ribbons, new possibilities for interpretation. Do these mapped faults rest quietly, or are some still adjusting beneath our feet? As fibers and lasers scan, science continues its watch, alert to the signs. The Rockies whisper back, tremors, risks, and geological calm. When seismic danger in America is mentioned, thoughts often leap westward to California's fault lines, the drama of the Pacific Northwest, or the geothermal energies of Yellowstone. The Rockies, by contrast, have long borne a reputation for solidity. Their age and bulk seem to promise a quiet existence. Indeed, data for quaternary faults east of the Rocky Mountain front confirm a region less prone to frequent large earthquakes than the coast. Yet tranquility is a relative term. From time to time, Colorado and Wyoming shake. A fleeting earthquake, 
a tremor passing unnoticed but for scientific instruments. Most are minor, felt by few. Catalogs assembled by the USGS and regional researchers show the Rockies are neither hyperactive nor inert. There is gentle, background motion that may escape casual notice. Modest motions still matter. Subsurface faults, newly detailed by fiber and laser-based mapping, show structures more intricate than once believed. In the transition zones north and east of the main range, especially near the boundary with basins, uniquely patterned fractures tell of ancient tectonic events, some silent for millennia. Occasionally, a cluster of small earthquakes or a minute shift detected by fiber reveals that even quiet faults may move with or without notice. To be clear, the 2025 mapping has not exposed any new, disastrous faults beneath the region's cities or towns. What stands out is the density and complexity of intersecting structures, important not because they spell doom, but because they serve as a reminder that geology is dynamic. The Rockies are not an immovable barricade, but a constantly adjusting region. Evidence lies not in great quakes, but in the slow movements and subtle creep of the land. Motions that, over epochs, quietly rewrite the landscape. Should Denver, Bozeman, or towns along the Continental Divide brace for catastrophe? The answer, in light of thousands of new observations, is sobering yet reassuring. The faults are stable, the risk to human life remains low, but the mountain's story is drawn out in cycles too slow for a single human lifetime. This is not a call for alarm, but an invitation to recognize our home as a place shaped by ongoing processes and to respond with careful, measured preparedness. Lasers unearth the lost, resources, rifts, and the great mineral chase. Beneath the peaks, cracks, and ancient valleys lies another kind of secret, veins of minerals, some of them crucial to our technological future. The hunt for resources is not new. It drove gold strikes and mining booms and shaped towns and rivers. But in 2025, as industries hunger for lithium, rare earths, and other critical minerals grows, the push to understand the Rockies' hidden wealth intensifies. Under the USGS Earth Mapping Resources Initiative, known as Earth MRI, agencies are now integrating laser and fiber-based data into new, multi-dimensional maps for science and policy. By layering hypersensitive imaging and seismic data, researchers aim to detect not only faults, but also the telltale indicators of hidden deposits, anomalies in conductivity, altered seismic velocities, even subtle echoes from laser pulses returning from mineral boundaries, especially in the Rocky Mountain region and near outcrops, such as those in and around the Williston Basin. New maps show elevated prospectivity, where the range once divided waters and weather, it now becomes the focus of a new kind of resource exploration. For policymakers and mining interests alike, the emerging maps herald both opportunity and the need for caution. Yet, the search for minerals is inseparable from the landscape's fault architecture. For every promising load detected, caution is warranted. Extracting deep resources might reactivate dormant fractures, and the lessons of past mining, streams tainted, lands scarred, underscore the need for vigilance, guided by the best available data. Here, the union of technology and geology offers a chance to do better. Lasers, with surfaces crafted to micrometer level perfection, and fibers detecting barely their tremors, supply the knowledge to avoid old mistakes. Mines may reopen, but always with caution, respecting the complex geometry now charted with unprecedented precision. As the race between exploration and stewardship unfolds, each new map deepens not just what we know, but also our responsibility to act wisely on that knowledge. Guardians of the land, the role of parks, policy, and science. It is not only researchers and miners who look to the Rockies with fresh perspectives. Those entrusted with stewardship must now grapple with a reality that stretches below the horizon. The National Park Service, under its Organic Act of 1916, holds a twofold mandate to promote the enjoyment of remarkable places and to protect them unimpaired for future generations. This responsibility becomes more nuanced 
as our understanding of subsurface features evolves. With each leap in underground mapping, management grows more complex. Could knowledge of hidden faults shape the design of visitor centers, campsites, and infrastructure? Already, fiber and laser networks are being tested for practical conservation applications, providing real-time feedback about ground movement near sensitive sites and supporting decisions regarding bridges, roads, or water systems. At the federal level, regulations evolve to keep pace with knowledge. The recent final rule issued by the Pipeline and Hazardous Materials Safety Administration underscores the need to account for new geological mapping in the planning and maintenance of critical infrastructure, such as pipeline. Engineering standards increasingly demand that planners anticipate the restless nature of mountain geology, relying on up-to-date imaging to design and safeguard these assets. In government halls, as much as in research labs, policy is a balance between fresh data and established wisdom, the drive to serve the public and the duty to protect. How best can we celebrate wilderness while managing its unpredictable depths? Does the new awareness of hidden risk invite improved preparedness and perhaps a deeper respect for what remains wild and mysterious beneath our feet? Data and doubt, the limits of clarity in a living land. For all the new maps and brilliant instrumentation, a humbling truth remains. Each layer of discovery reveals new uncertainty. Even fiber networks tuned to near perfection and laser arrays with surfaces accurate to within 25 micrometers, less than the thickness of a human hair, leave mysteries unsolved. Data streams from cables and detectors are a triumph of ingenuity, but are always laced with ambiguity. Sometimes, anomalies arise in the signals, spikes, or discontinuities that defy neat explanation. In some places, what appears, at first, to be a simple fault line may later be exposed. The pulse of preparedness, faults, futures, and the rocky imagination. What does it mean to see beneath the mountains? To learn that the Rockies, seemingly changeless, are instead a tapestry of hidden divisions and slow, tectonic restlessness. For city leaders from Denver to Cheyenne, Salt Lake City to smaller mountain towns, new maps are more than geological curiosities. They are guides for policy, urban planning, and imagination. Building codes are revisited, emergency plans updated, not because imminent danger looms, but because prudent preparation stands between communities and unforeseen loss. The climate stakes rise too. The mountains are not static, but active participants in the fate of watersheds, forests, and lives downstream. The unveiling of new faults raises questions for the safety of dams and the management of fractured aquifers, a pressing matter in the water-stressed American West. Planners, engineers, and ecologists scrutinize data, aware that the slow shifts beneath the peaks can ripple through human systems as well as natural ones. For the mining industry, sharper knowledge means safer, more targeted extraction, but also new responsibilities. If you're fascinated by the hidden stories beneath the world's most storied mountains, consider joining us as we follow every shift, every pulse, every silent narrative revealed by fiber and laser. Share your thoughts. Do you think the Rockies' greatest mysteries are now in plain view, or is the work of discovery and understanding just beginning? Thank you for watching. May we remember the true story of the mountains is written not just on their high ridges, but deep beneath where light and stone intersect, invisible, restless, and always awaiting new eyes.